you came back, that's great. That means you've already created your background in the previous video and if you haven't, go ahead and check that out. But in today's video, we're gonna look at how we can create a two camera overlay, right? We've got two different versions of this. Um, we're gonna build on what we built yesterday. So let's dive in. So we're starting right where we left off. These are the two we had yesterday. Um, I'm gonna go right to the bottom, click add page. We have a black page, so that's good. And what I'm gonna do is go to my upload section and grab this screenshot. And so I'm gonna pause here and say, in that scene that we saw before, right right here, you can actually go in and take a screenshot. One of the ways that you can do that is just to create, make this full screen and then just take a screenshot of the whole thing, the whole screen, and then pull that screenshot into Canva as I've done now. And so that will allow you to have the base for your design. So you might wanna pause it here, do that and come right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, elements on screen now. So let's go to the elements tab. I'm gonna put, our, put a square on screen. And what I'm trying to do is to size it the same exact size as the video square from our streaming platform. And in this case, I'm using example from StreamYard, but this is the same setup for Restream as well. And of course, this will work in the other platform as well. So I'm gonna change this, uh, change this color to green. <laughs> There's a reason for that. So we can change that color to green copy, paste it, and move it over so that we have it sized for the other one as well. In the, once it's in the right place, it doesn't need to be exact, just needs to really kind of be in that general area. And usually once you get it sized right, you don't wanna make, it any, make any more movements on it. Next thing you wanna do is grab the frame. Um, we're gonna make that frame white. All right, grab this frame gonna try to pull it right to the center don't worry about the don't don't worry too much about the the actual frame itself or grabbing the the blank space it will work it will work you don't want to pull it right to the edge you want to pull it to where you can actually cover the box so we'll pull that out there now this is a little bit too big for what I will be doing so I've got to actually make it smaller. And the way we do that is just by dragging one of the edges, pulling it in, move this over some, and then we can pull the sides of it down to be able to catch the corners where we need them to be. And once we have that right, we should be able to just click this copy paste and pull it over to the other side so that we have that. I know I stepped out of frame there so that we have that set up right. So now we have what we want, the two green boxes with the frames on them. This is exactly what we want. And we want this. We have it. We want to have, make sure it's grouped. So we have that group now. Let's copy this. And before we paste it to our background, we want to make sure we duplicate it. So we duplicate this thing, paste it here. And if you want, you can get a little technical and call this background. And here you can say background with frames. And then we're going to download this and we're going to head over to PhotoP. Here in PhotoP, we're going to click on file, open. It's gonna open this stuff on my desktop, I'm gonna open that file that we just downloaded, and here it is, that's the file. We are looking for the wand. You can put your mouse on the icons on the side here, it's about the one, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth one down, and it's called Magic Wand Tool. So we click that, and once we have that selected, we can select the green area, and you see that little line going around it, that, uh, that means it's gonna deselect that, it's going to make that part of the graphic transparent. Do that one more time, delete that part, and then all we need to do now is click export as PNG. And we say save, and that is there. So now we can go back to StreamYard, where we have our design, and we don't wanna go into the backgrounds this time, we wanna go into overlays. I'm gonna upload this thing here, of course, 
you want to name your stuff properly, don't follow me. But you have this in the background, then you have this in the as an overlay. And so now you have the two videos there framed up um, and they have a it's this is a two camera overlay that you can use and really show up really cool, really nicely in your presentations, in your live streams with your guests. So now you have a two camera overlay, which is exactly what we set out to build and it's framed up nicely. I'm going to turn the camera on on these so that you can see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, you've got two cameras. You've got it on overlay there. Um, this is how your guests will look on screen. If you go down here, you can turn on display names and you have the display names there as well. It really just kind of matches everything. It looks really great. And so this is our two camera overlay. So there you have it. Two camera overlay with the frames around it looking really good, really clean. Your guests will be showing up like this. You can show up like this and we're building right in the first video. We went over how to create the background and you notice that we use that same background for the overlay for our overlay. And so now we have that overlay with the frames on it in the next video. In our third video, we're going to be looking at building out custom lower thirds. I hope you join us.